In this example, we've got a very short link, 2.7 meters, about eight feet. And of course, the problem is it's failing crosstalk. That's not uncommon if you're using, how can I say, mediocre components. Let's see why this failed. I'm going to tap near and crosstalk. And it's going to show me all six pair combinations from the remote because that's where the worst performing crosstalk appeared. And if I tap the pair on the right here, it's automatically going to go to the worst performing pair combination that gave us that minus 2.2 dB. And the pair this time is not 3645, it's actually 3678. That's all the information I can get from this screen that's particularly useful to me. Now what I want to do is go back to the home screen and to my diagnostic tag and look at the HDTDX, that's the High Definition Time Domain Crosstalk Analyzer. This is now allowing me to look down the cable and see where the crosstalk is happening. And I only want to do it for that 3678, the worst performing pair. So I'm going to tap until I see 3678 in the top left hand corner there. So I'm seeing two spikes here. The first spike is my first connection at zero feet, zero meters. Um, my second spike is my connection at the other end of this very short link, 2.7 meters, um, around about eight feet. The cursor has automatically gone to the largest source of crosstalk, and it's given me a value of 44.2%. Ideally, we want to see 30. Um, 30 to 35 is ho-hum. 35 to 40, you're going to start seeing your margins come down, and anything after 40, you're likely to be seeing, fa seeing failing test results. So at 44.2, that is not good enough. And here's the thing, on short links, because the two connectors are in very close proximity, whole hum connectors are not going to work for you. You're going to need really good connectors because the effect of this connector on this connector, they're really close together, is going to add up. And that's why people have trouble with short links, mediocre terminations and mediocre connections. So I can definitely say my connection at the far end there is clearly not adequate. It's way more than the ideal 30% I want to see. Now, notice I said connection. I didn't say termination because this connector here may not be a very good category six connector. And actually talking to the customer on this occasion, I didn't even recognize the brand and I know most of the brands out there. So that made me a little nervous. So my advice to him on this one is, and he swore up and down his terminations were perfect, is to go and find, and I gave him a couple good names of uh, manufacturers. I'm not obviously gonna say on the video here because I don't wanna get into too much trouble. And when he tried testing with those other connectors, the link started passing with flying colors. But, you know, that could have been a termination issue there as well. When I look at my connection at the near end here, I see a value of 35%. Again, you know, if the link was longer, you could probably get away with 35%. But when the link gets shorter and shorter, you really do need to hit that 30% on the HDTDX in order to get that pass on that near end crosstalk. Now, Again, it's, it's really important to emphasize this 30% is not a pass-fail criteria. That pass-fail criteria is when you're looking at the frequency plots. This is purely a diagnostic tool. So, cause of failure. This is actually, in this occasion, it was a poor choice of connectors.